What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jesse, and just in case you're new here, I go hunting for Hot Wheels every single day, and then I crack them open right here on Daily Diecast. Now, I was able to go out hunting today, and I found something awesome. I found this cool Corvette five pack. I was absolutely not expecting to find this on the pegs until next year. It was a pleasant surprise. Let's get to cracking right now. All right, I have one just off screen and we're gonna go top to bottom. All right, first one up is this beautiful blue Corvette, black plastic base. No information on it really. Very, very awesome. I'm sure Glenn Hales can tell me exactly which model this is. Uh, mostly, you know, I know about Japanese cars and European cars and stuff like that. Pretty new to muscle cars. I am getting into it though, but uh, I still need a, a little bit of education on it. Very nice casting. It could do us a bit more tampo though. I mean, the headlights look pretty good. Corvette symbol looks really good. Hood looks good. But I mean, they couldn't put like a little bit of red on those taillights. Uh, also, it's one of those weird one rivet models, and then the back is like this clip. Got four exhausts, windows rolled down, gray interior, and no side view mirrors. All right, let's put it right there next to those beautiful 80s Corvettes with opening hoods. Here we go, got them all in the picture now. All right, next Corvette up. All right, we got this one right here. What is this one? Is a 69 Copo Corvette. Awesome, check that out. Got Coney shocks on the side. Phil, Phil Realman on the side there, which is what uh, the PR stands for in PR5. Again, thank you, Glenn Hales, for that bit of information. I did not know that until you told me. Uh, let's see, roll down windows, blue tinted windows. Looks really nice, gray interior. Again, no taillight tampo, which is kind of a bummer, but it's all good because we got tampos all over the rest of the car. And a nice plastic chrome base. Very shiny, very nice. Got these, uh, I believe they're called uh, deep dish eight spoke wheels or something like that, with a nice blue chrome lip. Really nice casting, I like this one. Very, very cool. All right, let's pop it over there next to the blue one. Oops, can't get this one out, it's a little kind of stuck. There we go. And this time we have a Corvette Stingray. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this Corvette before. Very, very interesting. Got a red interior. Very strange uh, windshield setup. <laughs> Hot Wheels Speed Shop. Goodyear Tampo. Five spoke chromies. Nice black enamel. Of course that plastic chrome base. Interesting one. It's weird, like it only has like one little headache bar for the driver. Pretty cool. Not my favorite, but it's pretty neat. All right, next one up. We got this nice red Corvette. Again, not exactly sure on the air. Whoa, what is going on there? <laughs> Again, I'm new to the whole muscle car thing. I'm I'm learning, I'm taking an interest in it for sure, but it looks like it has about 77 taillights. <laughs> uh, that's funny. But I, I like the red and white together, it looks good. Got a little Hot, Hot Wheels emblem. Some five spoke wheels of some kind with a white lip, black plastic base. Again, no information on this one. Another really low windshield, it looks like it's higher on the driver's side than on the passenger. Little roll bar going on. Gray interior, steering wheel doesn't look so good, but the rest of it does. You can kind of make out some uh, some four-point racing harnesses, I believe, if I can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Got some racing harnesses for sure. Pretty neat, that's cool. That's very, very cool. All right, and we got the last one here. Nice yellow one. Oh wow, I got a giant hood scoop on this guy. Some really dark uh, windows. Whoa, what the? OK, 
Okay. Those little, is that flashing or is that supposed to be like that? Like little rain, rain guards? Let's see, this one, C6R. Got the PR5s, red chrome lip. Mm, feels like a plastic wing. And again, just a one rivet casting. Very weird. Black plastic base. And not a single one of those had side view mirrors. <laughs> it's kind of lame. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys don't care, but I just really like when they have uh, side view mirrors. Like, it doesn't, like, sway my opinion on cars too much, but I definitely prefer it. Hot Wheels Performance Parts, number three. That one's pretty cool. Probably my second favorite in the bunch. Let's see, let's move them over just a little bit. All right, so my favorite's the blue one. Second being the yellow one. Then the white one, red, and last is that black one. Is that black one just weird? Like, if you look at it from the top, you, it just looks weird. Can't, like, see, like, the wheels are, like, really recessed into the body. Maybe that's how the actual car is. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even notice as the chrome exhaust come off the side. That's pretty cool. Very, very interesting. Well, I, I'm just glad I found one of those on the pegs. Pretty cool. I really didn't think I was going to see those for quite a while. And, uh, you know, I, I, I actually much prefer the ones in the background, those classic 80s Corvettes, those vintage pieces with the opening hoods. Those are beautiful. And all of them, except for that one, have the gold Hot One wheels, so they roll so smoothly. But I do like all of them on here, right here on the table. Very, very nice. I'm into it big time. Some of these will probably make my, uh, my wall of goodness. But uh, yeah, that's the video. That's my haul for today. I did find some other cars, but I'll probably crack them open tomorrow because I got a little bit of work to do here around the house. And uh, I do thank you guys for watching. If you are new here and you collect Hot Wheels, please subscribe and like the video. Again, my name is Jesse and I post Hot Wheels videos every single day. And I will see you tomorrow.